It's a thing. <laughs> okay, we're live. Tell me more about this pickled watermelon, Brian. Yeah, it's like a sweet, basically you scoop all the flesh out of the watermelon, you cut off the green parts, which basically the layer of white that's not red or I'm green. not insane. Sorry, my soup container really is leaking. Just a drop at a time. Oh, oh. good. I thought I was like, is that insane? I'm just getting, is it condensation? And then I like pressed on it, because it's like a plastic container, uh, Tupperware. So I pressed on it, and then a bunch came out at once. I'm like, okay, no, I'm not insane. It's just a very small crack. I'm going to put a towel here. Soup over a towel. I've done Eat it. fat. <laughs> what is the brine used for? You pickle the watermelon rind in. Oh. Why would anyone eat the watermelon rind, pickled or not? Because it's like, I've... it's good. It's the same reason you candy orange peels. I have not done either of those, but I am curious. I am uh, very yeah. curious. On the list of things I'm going to try to do later this month, um, I'm going to try to bake Brussels sprout kimchi, and I'll, I'll report back, but I'm very excited about my Brussels sprout kimchi project. Brussels sprout? I mean, it, yeah, it's cabbage. It's it just tiny cabbage. Yeah. It's tiny cabbage. I saw someone do it on YouTube, and I thought, this seems great, so I'm going to go make it. <laughs> yeah, we spent the day in the garden getting way too many uh herbs out of it i mean i've got freezer gallon like gallon sized freezer bags <laughs> full of i think seven different types of basil because my wife is insane i would love oh, that, that would be so nice. <laughs> so much basil. i've been trying to buy basil but no one sells basil in bulk here even the farmers markets barely have a lot hey, and i want to make homemade pesto that's one of them I'll, uh, i promise it's not drugs <laughs> <laughs> see there is you have to label that on all of the bags mm -hmm. There's a short list of drugs you're legally allowed to grow, I, at least in Florida. I don't know about other parts of the United States, but there's a short list you're legally allowed to just grow yourself. Mm -hmm. This is the one I'm interested in, though. It's a, it, it's a dark opal basil. Mm. It's like, Ooh. Yeah. Let's See, all I, my, I work at a Thai restaurant, so I eat a lot of Thai basil, which is a very like specific basil flavor. Mm -hmm. It's a little bit funkier. And I'm pretty sure they have to grow it themselves for the restaurant. No, we've got, I know there's cinnamon, lemon, some licorice smelling one that I'm not touching. Um, <laughs> the dark opal. I don't know what the hell else. My hands were reeking all day until I washed them with uh, mineral uh, oil. <laughs> you mean you don't have the orange bottle of soap? I think it's just called orange soap. But it's like if your hands smell or they're covered in sticky stuff but it's like the mechanic soap and that's my yeah. favorite soap that exists because it cleans your hands of everything. Yeah, I usually use lava know. soap for that, but... Yeah, stuff yeah. you didn't know was on your hands comes off and it's great. This is called orange soap? So many things yes. today. But it's, its primary use is getting like engine grease off your hands, which is why mm -hmm. I own it. But yeah, I use it anytime my hands get covered in sticky stuff. It's great. <laughs> If it can get sap off, worth it. Oh, yeah, yeah it gets sap off. Uh, it's just, uh, it's cheaper to do my own car repairs. So. Okay. I mean, Always you're not is. charge yourself at least 50 bucks an hour. No, I'm not. <laughs> I'm going to charge myself $0 an hour, and I'm going to, like, have my friend that used to work at AutoZone give me a bunch of coupons, so I pay you. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Nice. Okay. I just drank a bunch of water in that soup anyways. So, um, yeah, Blades in the Dark. I've been doing some Blades prep. in the Dark. Um, there was something bad happening, if I remember correctly. No, we were just... good. It was good when we left. Relatively speaking, within the larger Angry Mob situation, uh, you guys had convinced the people inside the building who are not part of the Angry Mob uh, to basically... Agreed. Did I fill the wrong clock? I actually. Oh no, filling. Okay, it was either side. Oh, uh, it was one it's clock. Like either side, yeah. So the grind is found innocent two. by the scoff leadership. Um, Let me load the game so I can see what these clocks look like. Okay. <laughs> that might be helpful. It was one clock that started just under halfway. If you filled it, you got what you wanted. If it emptied, you got the opposite of what you wanted. Yeah. Yeah. 
but you didn't. So we have what what clocks do we have to fill for a complete <laughs> mission? Uh, this um, one down here, the crowd finds the scientists innocent, and you do not want the crowd riots there, because that's when things turn violent and they just attack. Do we have any problems finding the scientists as well? Um, when you looked around before, uh, you oh, did right, not so. see them, but you did see that there is a basement that is guarded. A basement, like, trapdoor. Fair enough. So, so long as long as everything's good, we can probably... Yeah, collect. and you're on the second floor right now of this building. Yeah. Um, so, okay. do we want to just jump into things then? Well, I'm checking what, yeah. what tools I have and how much stress I have to spend. Okay, I have no yeah, stress. We're, yeah, and, we're pretty much... And no tools! Of... <laughs> cool, cool. I got two slots on my bandolier and, mm -hmm. like, hawker's rigging. Yeah. That's it. That's all I have. I have two stress. Oh, I'm wounded. Great. <laughs> Um, Two stress, no wounds, no very little gear used yet, so... Mm, looks like you're solving this problem. <laughs> looks like you're solving this problem. I got uh, seven stress, no tools used, and I'm in normal. Hmm. So everyone uh, has more to work with than left. me. Yeah. <laughs> two, oh, two stress left. Okay, yeah. yeah I'm, I'm, I'm also, in the same boat. I'm also at two stress left. So between <laughs> the four of us, we have... Eight, trauma like incoming. Yeah. Trauma <laughs> incoming. We have eleven points of stress between the four of us. Yes. So. Well. Group actions, we... no fails. Yeah. yeah. No, no failing. <laughs> failing will not be tolerated. <laughs> Failure will not be tolerated. Failure will not be. Okay. Um. So yeah, there's three people that you've managed to convince that are all kind of community leaders. Um. They've introduced themselves as Cersei, who is kind of. Uh, was Hutton's second in command, and so was kind of here in their in his place. Um, yeah. Ray, who's sort of an older woman, um, and then there is Stal, uh, who was hesitant but seemed to be friendly. Those are the three people. Um, they you have convinced them to like, okay, yeah, Grine is guilty. He's been doing everything he can to make things up afterwards, um, and I think even they at this point. Um, say that like looking down at the crowd because there's a totally like a, this enormous warehousey like window of glass. Um, they look down. Um, it's probably very dusty and sooty, so they probably wipe away a bit of the dust. And there's just this crowd. It's grown now, probably to over a hundred people outside. Um, and. I think that Frey says, you may have convinced us of your innocence, but these people, they are demanding justice. They will take blood from a stone if needed. You'd lead them, don't you? Lead. I lead them. Yes, what, Indigo? Now, I understand on the surface, the best course, the best case scenario is to convince the crowd of our point. But my, I'm, I'm here to proposition, do we need to, to leave and be successful with our intent of the score? No. Yes, because part of it is... Or yes, you do need to to be successful. One. If you leave without succeeding on the crowd as well, uh, you will not fully succeed. You may delay things right, a bit, but the crowd... Yeah, the that's, overall... what, that's what I'm clarifying as to yes. how important it is or can we be creative in how we leave yes. this room. Because we could, well, if we didn't need to convince them, we could always, like, hang the light our way out of here or something. I don't know. And well, I think Frey is them. basically um, saying, as, like, what her, her she's saying now is basically, we are not official leaders. We are just people who they respect the opinions of. We cannot... Uh, we can probably convince some of them by ourselves. We can probably sway them slowly and over time, maybe. But many of them would rather just look to those who still want justice in their mind. They will just look to someone else. We don't have power over them. We never do, did. We're just... 
their voices, but they will change them when they want to say when we don't say what they want. Could you perhaps redirect their energy? <clears throat> Sorry, frog in my throat. <laughs> Uh, oh, I perhaps. thought you were. Yeah. Oh, yeah. no. Perhaps levy their anger at the institutions that caused this to happen. Well, the last thing we did the last session was convince at least this group that the wardens spirit wardens were are all about responsible. It, yeah. yeah. Um, suggestion mm -hmm. for for the group and like a cool, like a couple of us aside, and it's we don't necessarily need to. Diffuse the anger. <laughs> That's what I'm suggesting. I, I know. Yeah. yeah. But we, if we literally start marching them to White Crown, Ooh. just transition yeah. into a second score immediately of like You'll get attack. No. God I, no. no. Second score with eleven stress and no load and uh, <laughs> what? What about <laughs> instead we march them to? The Scovlin Consulate, or you know, like the local PD. I think Scovlin consulate. consulate, because they're going to be a problem. And hey, here's the voice of the Scovlin people. So I think I think the, the 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 play might be someone goes out and makes a killer command rule to get them start marching towards the Scovlin consulate to demand answers. Not 100% sure it's going to start off with command being effective. Yeah. And they need to be quelled just enough where they're not going to storm the house. Right and now they're we almost preparing to storm it if they don't hear, see if, if like there was someone up there with the dusk wall equivalent of a megaphone yelling about how it's like the scoffs have been down and had a boot on their necks for too long. Time to rise up. I think oh. the real question is whether it's more effective to come out with grind and chains or not. I don't I think, think we, we advertise a target of a chained man right now. <laughs> Yeah, grind safer in the building. Safer I, I, in the building, out of sight, out of mind. <laughs> I think Grind will turn to Frey and ask, um, and where's Hutton in all of this? We don't know. He disappeared a few days back. And do you have control over his, um, underlings? I do, sure. says Cersei. They will follow me. Many of us are maybe not former soldiers officially, but it feels like it. It is my understanding that most in, and I'm forgetting the name of where we are, Char Hollow, <laughs> uh, will follow the lead of Cotton and his, uh, and his gang. Could they be of use here? Cersei looks at the others as if, like, not quite getting permission in some way, but there's so definitely some, like, glance that goes around them. And uh, then Cersei says, The Grinders already have a plan. Planning to leave the city once we have the resources we need. We're going to go back to our home with the warship, soldiers, volunteers, and a bunch of money. Uh, and Krein will, like, point out into the crowd and say, um, these people here, uh, they are more than the spark you need. You could make a stand in Duskwall. Duskwall's not her home. Never has yeah, been. Yeah, but the ripples shall lead back to Scotland. Once they see that even here the Empire cannot uh, keep you down, what do you think will happen when news of this reaches the homeland? You will arrive on those shores, not just with soldiers, but volunteers. Make a, I'd say make a sway roll. This isn't, I don't think, part of the job. This is part of the, like, 
larger goals of the faction because you have a very good point. Okay. I would like to. Could you want to make that a group roll? Uh, yeah, what's your sway like? If you want to speak up. Yeah, it's crap. <laughs> oh, okay. It's one. Yeah, I but, got no uh, sway. Yeah. I have two. So, um, <clears throat> yeah, I think I'll piggyback off of that and say, if you show the Empire that at home, even they need to bring more reinforcements, you will lighten the load on Scotland. Allow the fires of revolution to rise there as well. So hopefully, you are not met res with resistance with your warship. You are met with friendly ports. Okay. Group roll it. You want help? You want to? You want to group it? Uh, yeah. I, I'll. I can lead that. Okay. I got. I got three. All right. Nice. So I assume risky standard. Um. I'd say this is controlled, actually. Oh, okay. Good. I'm, I'm all about controlled right now. But yes, yeah. it's standard. It's um, <laughs> yeah, it's standard. I think Cersei is the one in charge now. Okay. Cool. And for now. Um, um, any devil's bargains you can think of? Uh, I was about to ask. Oh, the Phoenix has to go on the ship. When the time comes, they expect the phoenix to be on the ship. <laughs> um, either way, feels a bit strong for a devil's bargain. Okay. Yeah. Well, um, not that he has to, but they expect him to. The expectation will be that the phoenix is there. Not that he's, like, pot committed, but they'll be mad if you don't show up. I think a devil's bargain... Hmm... Because that, that was his suggestion. That, or it is, yes. But I don't or... think it's just the Phoenix. I think it's for, like, you guys as a faction. The Devil's Bargain is... It, it's not a, a deal, but, like, they... Based on what you're saying and how much you seem to care about the cause, if you aren't there to support the Grinders when they need you, there will be... That's what they will expect you to do. And then so react if you don't. They they would expect us as a faction to go on the ship with them. Yeah. Ooh. I would prefer holding down the fort. Or going on an yeah. individual level. Yeah, I mean it's supporting them. I could I totally get behind, but leaving? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. I mean, Hicks is not going on a stupid ship to... <laughs> okay, then here's one. Here's a devil's bargain for each of you, if you want it. Uh, one tick mm -hmm. each, if, and it's individual, on out of supply for just literally giving them a bit more weapons and offering them a bit of, like, physical material support. We've only got two left. Two, yeah. I mean, we need to do a supply job anyway, so we could take one on that, probably. I figure I think that's our next it. job, by the way. Yeah, is a supply our job. next job is the supply job. We need job. to somehow mesh supply job and reduce hold from the spirit warden into one job, but that's probably the next suggestion for tactical yeah. reasons alone. Yeah. I mean, right. we know where one of their warehouses is. Yeah, I figure we dump <laughs> that shit over. <laughs> Do you want right. to take it? Yeah, I'll take then, one. Yeah, yeah sure. because then we're rolling two each. All right. Yep. I'm rolling. Hit me too. That's a six. Crit! <laughs> nice. Synchronized, paying off again. It's yeah. The only reason we took that perk and it's paid off. It just <laughs> paid off really quickly. It's a good perk. You took it at the start of last session, right? No, uh, we've had it for a No, it's been a bit. Ago. Okay. It's been a couple of sessions, but it's a, it's a pretty good perk. Yeah. I think this is only the second job with it, though. Yeah. Ah, okay. Well, let and the me, first uh, job, like we, even though we had the perk, it was the catering job, so we split yeah. up individually, which meant it he was useless. Yeah. yeah. Um, Cersei speaks, and, and Cersei was like thinking about what you're saying for a long time, and then she, I think, yeah, she's in a, a wheelchair, so she like wheels over to the table, and also like stares down at the crowd, um, and then she says. You're right. Hutton isn't here. And this is my call now. And the anger I see down there, the fire. 
I think Lockport's the name of the uh, other place or something like that. I think so. <laughs> yeah, he says sounds familiar. That fire has already been put out on Lockport, and it needs this to restart. He like bangs on the armrest of one of his things and says, "Like the grinders stay. We're not leaving." Everything that we've been doing will be redirected to the Duskwall Revolution. Good. Good. <laughs> yeah. Well, they're um, talking about issues of Scotland. I have Tex has his mind on more immediate matters, and I wanted to propose a short plan to Adric. Sure. It has how to progress the job while they're worried about future things. Yeah, I'm not as interested in yeah, future things. I figured things you would be, so you would be the right person to talk to about this. Um, my suggestion, like, while they're having their small small meeting about the future of, like, what the grinders are going to do and whatnot, you said there was someone out there with a megaphone, like, egging Not literally, but equ equivalently, yeah, there's someone who is... Not like a megaphone, but like, uh, just like... Someone has taken over your box. Yeah, yeah someone is standing on box. the box, and they're, yeah, like, revving right. the crowd up, and right. they're starting, like, a, a synchronized yeah. chant, which is very dangerous. Yeah, my plan is to take this no. box back. <laughs> Soon they'll so start I, doing the wave in the crowd. <laughs> I take I take Adric over the window, and I point down at the person on the box, and I say, see the speaker down there? <laughs> yeah. I need you... To remove him from the position on the soapbox without spilling any blood or internal injuries to the person. Both no blood and no internal injuries. Mm, yes. Mm, yeah, fine. I understand it's a real challenge for Hadrick here. Wouldn't that be easier for um, gestures at the Phoenix? Yeah, they're talking. But you are stealthy enough and you are small enough that when I. Make a grand re-entrance to the leader of the mob. <laughs> you can go out the back door of this building and hit him on the head and drag him away. <laughs> I'm not sure if that counts as no internal injury, but you know what? Let's just say Hicks skipped okay, biology. This is not really modern, external. This is not modern <laughs> medicine. Yeah, There's exactly. No blood spilled, and like you don't rupture any organs. He might have a concussion, but we'll get over that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, For some reason, with Adric, I've been researching this. injuries. <laughs> Concussion thing is kind of bad. Yeah, but we don't realize this in eight, eight. Yeah, it's okay. In dusk fall, ignorance. Fair enough. The veil of are. ignorance. Ignorance equals innocence. Well, because yeah. like the technology is like Victorian era. Yeah. Cops were still issued blackjacks with explicit instructions to bash criminals on the head. Yeah. Because this was before that was the like. Not head injuries were considered as bad as they really are. Yeah. No, you're Did very any much of right. us inside recognize that you'd used a smoke bomb on them? <laughs> I think we were inside before that happened. So Yeah, Hicks was the last one in. <laughs> <laughs> Is there like oh follow up like room question? Is there like a table in this building I could borrow? I mean, there is a, like, Hutton's desk. You're in Hutton's office. Mm, um, and um, his yeah, desk is what the answer. other, the three leaders are sitting on. And it's wide enough to comfortably, but not very comfortably, uh, have all of them sitting at. It's, like, super long. Is there any other flat piece of wood? Yes. Because I can think of several that, like, the, the, he would have, like... A sideboard side, kind of thing. Yeah, sideboard and table, and uh, technically a door is a flat piece of wood. Well, something I can easily grab. Yeah. But yeah, I can, I can find a thing to grab. So my plan yeah. is to use a bottle of the drift goop. Drift oil? Yeah. Drift oil. Put it on a piece of wood, and if I can silver surfer my way down into the crowd. <laughs> I don't think it'll hold your weight. Ah, uh, no, no. The plan is to descend with it, not to float with it but use it to just slow my descent so I don't, like, die. Ah. We did have a bar fight with two of us we on the table. We did have a bar fight yeah, with yeah, table. <laughs> I thought you guys were also affected by the drift oil at that point. Yes, they you were. might have been. Yeah, you can we splash on yourself. If you have but some on yourself, you can. Float people, it should be yeah, strong enough to float wood with people on it. And the plan's not to float indefinitely, it's just to safely float down, not to go 
slow fall. Okay. Yeah. I I think it could work if you also you sell like some of it on yourself, but not a, but like not enough where you're fully weightless, but just less weight. Yeah. Sprinkle so my way to shoes. do that is a big old distraction, if you will. So Adric could go out and bonk this person on the head without like, oh no, they hit him on the head. <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm up for this plan. Right. That's, that's my plan to get control of the crowd, <laughs> and then we could attempt to redirect. <laughs> All right. All right. So, I think you're. Who's doing a setup action for who? I'm setting up for Adric. Okay. You're the, the main action for this first set is removing the person currently in charge. <laughs> okay. So, well, Phoenix and Brian can't object because they have no <laughs> idea yes, what we're doing. Yeah, because we're not even letting you guys know. <laughs> oh boy. Okay. <laughs> Then yeah, uh, yeah. I think you are wrecking. I can see this as you are literally distracting them. You are using your your tinkering tools. Um, yeah, yeah I will expend a bottle of drift oil for my bandolier, mm -hmm. and I will wreck this person's control over the crowd. Okay. By silver surfering down. Nice. Um, I think this is controlled. Yeah. I think it's controlled as a devil's bargain. Um, this is, yeah, the effect doesn't matter. This is controlled. No, this is risky. It's yeah. obviously risky. I'm silver suffering down. Yeah, what am I saying? Yeah. It. It's risky. Uh, effect doesn't matter. Devil's bargain plus one heat. No, I'm good. Okay. No heat, please. I already get plus one die on this. this yeah. Effect doesn't matter. I yeah. get plus one die because it's a distraction. It is. And I rolled four. Oh, you just got enough, though. Oh, boy. Cool. All right, well, that's a setup action, at least. Yep. Um, I think... I think that... I think you get two heat from this. I think this is still a setup. This isn't huge. But I think you get, you, uh, like, this is whole, like, oh, we see Hicks using drift oil. And the later on, people who are, who are like, blue coats who are looking at your case are like, oh, we have cases of weird uses of drift oil in this and in this and in this. <laughs> Alchemical Can stuff. Can I argue for a supply on that one? Or um, no, we'd be out then. Mm. Yeah, I think it's, it'll be too heat. Yeah. They dust off the All old right. Kellen's we Tavern attack. It's like, hmm. Yeah. And then other alchemical stuff at, like, the Spirit Warden's estate. and You mean every mission? Every mission. Every we've used, yeah. We've used weird chemicals for some effect. So they eventually some of the witnesses here uh, will tell them about your grand entrance. All right. Okay. That's recorded. Yep. We have well, that... left for the next wanted level. I rolled, I rolled four dice, okay? Like, I should have got at least one. <laughs> I offered a devil's bargain. Maybe that other... Roll a T6. Maybe that, if you accepted that one heat, you wouldn't have gotten two. Not, 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 not to know. No, I'm not doing that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Adric. I like to know, but it's better not it's to It's still know. a distraction. What do you do? Uh, yeah, no, the plan was to go around the edge of the crowd, kind of uh, prowl there, and try and ambush this guy. I'm going to do it just with the back of the hilt of a knife and basically we'll go with hit him on the head and drag him behind the box if i can manage it <laughs> yeah okay while everyone's distracted that is yeah. desperate you're doing this in the middle of an angry crowd <laughs> oh, no. i think oh, your boy. effect if you get him away i think it'll be limited right now without any uh, improvements you have a fine knife yeah, so I, should, you're right. Standard. Um, but I don't think that the effect here is how ef effective you are taking him out. It's more how much, how, how uh, pacified is the crowd as a result of you taking him out? Um, and I think it's limited. It'll, it, it, they, he is not mm -hmm. a prime force behind. Like it, someone else could just replace him and step up if needed. Um, this is where you command instead that might well be a very good call okay now you have your setup action so you could use that to improve your effect to standard i could but hey i had another plan that i wanted to use and 
this will work. No one can stop you. No cool. one can stop yeah, no, you. Yeah, no. Hicks looks up from above in horror as Adric does not follow the plan. As fear sham jams through the person on the box. Yeah, so Adric will basically wander up to the box, notice that no one is actually looking at Hicks as much. It's not working. <laughs> Realize working. like there is no way he's going to be taking this guy out and getting him out without this mob absolutely exploding. So he basically just steps up on the box next to him and does a bit of shouting of, you know, um, have you forgotten everything about home? This isn't how we find justice. If you have a problem with Grine or the scientists or whatever, pick your champion. We'll settle this like scumbs. And I'm basically saying, hey, let's trial by combat this thing. Excellent. Okay. So I think you don't get the benefit of Hicks's setup. <laughs> the setup doesn't help because they're looking at me float down from a second story window. We can yep. use it for something else, hopefully. I we'll see. I don't I, think I, Hicks I is going to stay up there forever. If this goes poorly, I have a terrible suggestion for how. Mm. We'll see. <laughs> I look forward to hearing it. Let's find yeah. out. Um, this uh, is still desperate. It's still desperate. <laughs> um, your effect here, though, I would say is standard. You have a good chance All right. of I'm like them good with accepting that. this. Desperate standard. I don't think that there's anything that really changes that. Devil's bargain. Let's hear it. Um. I I've got one. Okay. If you want one. Well, yeah. I mean, it might it might run up against a previous role, but <laughs> I mean, Ulf could possess somebody and be the champion. I got another devil. I... What are we doing in this score? <laughs> He was already driven off, actually, when he tried to yeah, interfere. He was yeah. Um, I have a, I have a, that's why I said it might rub up against another role. I don't know yeah. if enough time has gone by. And to go I have an alternative bargain. Okay. The traditional scob fight is shirtless with no weapons. I was about to say that. Yeah, you can't use any weapons in the fight. <laughs> the traditional Magic. scob fights is like shirtless it's a, with it's no a weapons fist fight. in the pit. Yeah. <laughs> so you, you punch each other to death. No armor, Traffic? no weapons. That's the devil's bargain. If <clears throat> It's just you and them... Oh, I'm so tempted. To... Hey, is that off one still on the table? <laughs> oh, that's nice. I don't think so. We already have established okay. that Ulf is going to confront the Phoenix when he is at his lowest and will probably bring, bring friends, is what's been written down. Yeah, fair enough. In which case, you know, that makes a whole lot of sense lore-wise. This is such a bad idea. <laughs> okay, perfect. <laughs> Looks like point. Adric's going to be the champion then. <laughs> <clears throat> Not me. Oh, crit! A crit. Oh, that is a crit. Oh, that's crit. <laughs> yep. So that goes up to great effect, um, which is three. Now mark your XP. Oh you yeah. Die. For the record, if that had failed, I would have suggested that Hicks floating down on a on a table. Everyone would think he's the champion. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> me with my zero prowl, my one prowl zero skirmish. I'll have so much fun at a fist fight. <laughs> perfect um okay so yeah you crit i think the crowd explodes and for a second everyone inside is like oh no did they start riding but they're like it's angry cheers basically it's like yeah uh the riot has not gone down no but what? you have gotten it we was a like crit, which three... is, I got you three, it, like, it went up from two to three ticks on the clock, yeah. No, they, if, if this doesn't go well, they still might riot, but they are, this is moving forward in, like, if the duel goes to your side, the innocent side, then they're innocent. Um, okay. and then, the, yeah, the, fair, lots fair. of the crowd members are yelling things like, yeah, let, like, let blood decide, and things like that. Um, they, they want to see how uh, a duel will go, they, they are... This is exactly what they want, it turns out. Um, and they make it a square. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I think they, they just... A really cool square. Yeah, they, they spread out. I think it's a circle. Um, you think it's a circle? I think it's a circle, and they'll, like, push anyone back into the ring if they get, like, pushed out and stuff like That's that. Square. Not the um, traditional octagon. Yeah, but it's around it the boxes. The, the box is, like, in the middle of the square, and, like, the box, they... they um, Adric, I think, if assuming that you want it, uh, they have ch already uh, chosen you as, as 
Like, yeah, sure. they assume that you are the one fighting on the side of uh, innocence because you're the one who was like talking to them as if they were an adversary. Because that makes so much sense. Assume a 14 year old. Anyhow, yes, I absolutely want Oh, they don't. So, yeah. yeah. If the answer is uh, fists and that's it, I guess. No shirts and fists. That's the yes, rule. I yeah. will <laughs> signify that I am doing this fight by taking off my shirt. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Um, Come on down to Char Hollow. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. <laughs> Let me check real quick if I have a named NPC who would fit in here. If not, oh. oh. Who else who do I know? I know a madman and a seditionist. <laughs> are either them from Scotland? Do I get a chance to punch Barry? Both out? of them Come are on. probably from Scotland. I've been waiting for that rematch. Let's go for. I mean, I can think of one. I don't think Bear was Scotlandic. Oh, no, um, you're right, you're right. He's just a big, he's a he's big, big guy. Like a Rosie dude. Now, yeah. is, is this to the death? Is that no. how this is decided? Okay. I don't think but so. it's not it's unheard of. Down it's, down. Yeah, it's not unheard yeah, like, of that there are deaths. Yeah, exactly. but it's, it's like whoever yields, and then a lot of times... It's, it's yield it's, or unable to yield. Yield or you can't go on. Yep. And if you can't go on because you're dead, though, that's still you yeah. can't go on. It's until the Pokemon well, fakes. It horrible. There is one Skovlander that would really like to see Grind dead. She just punched him in the face a couple weeks ago. Oh. <laughs> oh, yes. Vampire. No, no vampire fights. Wait, no. Yep. I, oh. I thank you for the... Oh, I was yes. going more for Adric's sister. No, I know where Adric's yeah. sister is, uh, and you have a good point. Oh, I... I I have my plans for her, but I don't think she would be in the. I don't think she wants Grind to die. She's now. not going to fight for Grind's death. She's angry, but not that much. Okay, um, okay. Damn, can't use my bird to help you. And she doesn't know about Grind's like only Ulf knows, not not uh, Castle. Oh. She does. She doesn't know that Grind was the one who's primarily behind Ulf's death. Uh, what about any of the snipers from? The Phoenix and Zaid. Um, I think Costa's doing her own thing. I think Costa shows up, actually. She's oh, okay. probably tracking the Phoenix, and by now has heard the Phoenix is here. Oh. Mm. And shows up. And she hears there's a fight going on. <clears throat> and I think she thinks about it for a bit. Knows that Adric is, like, one of the people who is related to the Phoenix and part of the Fuse Union. I think she gets in on this. God damn it. <laughs> I think she she steps forward. Um she has like what the, one of those like wraps around her chest like the the like she's almost shirtless kind of things. Yeah. Um a binding. It's just obviously no arbor is like the Exactly. Yeah. And she has still she she like has gloves she's on. Her fists. Yeah. Yeah. You even looking at her, Adric, uh, the pugilist friend of yours. She actually like reminds you a bit of her in this moment and, and how she's like oh, dressed cool. and acting. Yeah, and she's she mm -hmm. says, uh, "I think like you two are on opposite sides of the ring. There's probably a short bit of revving up for this. Like the rest of the crew finds out about this. Hicks, you float to the ground." Um, yeah, but everyone is ignoring you now. the top distraction was <laughs> yeah. Sorry to not use your distraction then. Uh... Yeah, and then, well, yeah. It's not helpful anymore. <laughs> um, inside, the uh, people looking at the window are like, uh, come look at this, something's happening. And then all of you, if you want to, can see, like, the circle is formed, Adric is there, and Costa has showed up and is on the other side. There's a ring. Hold all on, of you know what this means. By glass. <laughs> I mean, it's not that far away. You can just just see. Okay. Um, I gotta get down there then. <laughs> yeah. What do you, Grind and, and Phoenix? What do you guys do while they're this fight is prepping up? I think. Um, Grind's watching with the uh, the three Scov leaders. Mm -hmm. Whatever they're doing, he's with them because that's where he's safest at the moment. That's fair. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Um, I want to pull Grind aside and then say like. You need to convince them that we need your friends to help fight back. Yeah, yeah, that is, uh... I gotta go make sure my ex-girlfriend doesn't kill Adric. Okay, bye. <laughs> um, so just towards the head of ex-girlfriend. Okay. <laughs> there's a fight, um, Hicks wants to start taking books. <laughs> <laughs> 
this is how we get our coin out of this gym because he knows we have to pay for stuff still. And uh, if we lose, it's bad. So we're gonna count on winning. <laughs> so he's gonna start taking. Okay, for who are you trying? Are you trying to influence people to bet specifically for or against someone? Yeah, people are. the The odds are going to be in Costa's favor for the book I'm taking. Perfect. You're gonna give Costa the odds, <laughs> so everyone betting for Costa loses a bunch. And of everyone money. wants Costa to win, anyways. Basically. Yeah. So okay, I think you have a good point. Um. Three to one Costa. Yeah. This will be Costa controlled. Costa. I think now the crowd is like focused on the fight happening. You're not at, at yeah. danger or risk. They this is this is their jam. Um and... Can we use the setup here as in people have noticed Hicks floating down and you know <laughs> I like have... to imagine the bookie from above. He's a little <laughs> yeah, exactly. He's a little bit more noticeable than some random guy. He was just up in the air. Well, it's like he's floating down as you guys start making the circle. He goes, Oh, and then he just pulls out like bags. Yeah, goes, I'm taking bets as he's playing. As he hits the ground. No, I, I honestly, you, you made the roll. Someone, I think it makes sense. You can use your own setup for this. Cool. Um, right. Yeah. Is this consort or sway? It's changing. It. It's. Uh, is it? Yeah. You are trying to make it more likely they'll bet on Costa. They already are likely to more than, but you're trying to make the odds even more in your favor if. Patrick yeah. Wins. Yeah, you're changing behavior with manipulation, I yeah. think. Yeah. Well, the deception is I know Adric's a horrifying super soldier. <laughs> yes, just <laughs> Adric. Like no one else who's fighting yeah. here is a horrifying the problem super is, soldier. Cost is also a super <laughs> but soldier. No one all. knows. Even in character, yeah. no one else knows. Yeah. 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 This is gonna yeah. be good. Yep. Yeah, I don't know that. Hicks doesn't know how he, he Hicks the normal person, super soldier. Uh, my bet's with the super soldier. Everyone yep. else is going to bet adult over child. So. Yep. <laughs> yeah, do you think we think this is Sway? I think I so. Okay. I could see Consort if you want to, but I also see Sway. It, it doesn't matter. Uh, you said this was controlled. Yep. And use... I think your effect here by default, honestly, will be standard. Um, they're already likely to bet in... Uh, the way you want them to. Okay. Um, I'm gonna leave you standing. More money? <laughs> yeah, I Let's think see. um, you can use your setup roll for increased effect if you'd like to. Yeah, I'll use it for increased effect. So that's great effect. Uh, and I think this is like a, the few people who are like, I don't know, I've heard of Adric. He's there's a lot of really dark rumors about him, and you're like, no, I it's nothing. <laughs> <laughs> the people him. Him. What are you talking? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, it was a different Adric. Don't worry. Yeah, I used my magic eyeball powers to. That's Adric Carstar. Not... This is how I get out of it because it's a slave <laughs> roll. Yeah, they forget that you like convinced them that. <laughs> yeah, they forget you hustled them. <laughs> they forget they made a bet to lead me with bags of money. <laughs> 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 Walk away. Just walk yep. away. <laughs> Don't make a circle. Just do a half circle and then leave the crowd. <laughs> so much approval for this plan. Okay, yeah, do it. No bonus die. Uh, unless cool. you want Devil's Bargain, but I think... <laughs> All right! Excellent. So yeah, no, everyone's betting on on Costa. Let's hope that and works And they forget they bet. Yep. <laughs> Just oh. don't, just don't go around yeah. Char Holo. Don't go Char Holo ever again if you walk away with that money. <laughs> Actually, no. I, I'm going to leave it to you. It'll be a smaller payout. I, is, it, is it how it works? Is it a smaller payout if they don't collect, or bigger payout if you win? No, it's a, what it's happens a bigger is payout because in. no one collects yeah. at all. Yeah, no one collects if he just walks away. So yeah, you're right. All the money. Okay. Yeah. 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 Um, the actual plan is because I'm not that shady of a person. Is if Adric wins. I'm going to pay everyone the money that bet on Adric and be up and up. If Costa wins, I leave. <laughs> That's the yeah, because they'll they'll forget they bet on yeah. they'll they'll forget they yeah, bet unless you they see you again. So when you yeah, go around to them like, here's your money, they'll be like, oh yeah, thanks. Yeah, they'll remember and I'll get out of it scot free. But if Costa wins, I'm leaving town anyway. So <laughs> That's fair. Just because they're gonna be out for blood. Yeah. <laughs> True. Uh, I'm also making my way to the the edge of the circle or the square. Okay. Yep. You can yeah. do that. Um. I don't. I. I think that's fine. Uh, are you still in full costume? Fight. Yep. Oh. Okay. Uh. I want her to be distracted. 
Okay, we'll see how that works nice. in once the fight starts. I think there's like yeah. ripples happening because of that. Yeah, I I think he's not like on one of the edges of the square right now. He's like could barely be seen. And if he sees it's like distracting her, he'll get closer like Perfect. slowly. Um, grind. I think we'll, we'll let's finish off the score with the fight. I think with Adric. So grind. <laughs> Uh, you wanted to, or actually Hicks asked, or someone, Phoenix, asked you to I have did. a conversation with the leaders. Yeah, um, yeah I was going to say, at some point during the fight, Grind would ask if he could <laughs> speak with the scientists that are currently captive. I think they're hesitant about it, um, but I don't think you even need to roll to convince them. It's more like... Oh, I guess we like we do think that you are innocent. Um, I think that one of them, uh, Stal, the the guy, uh, he says, "All right, yeah, I'll take you to them." Um, and while you're ta while you're walking towards them down the stairs, he says, "Now, not all of them are as regretful as you." No regret does not make justice, but sure helps with public opinion. Yeah, uh, and while while we're talking, while we're talking, I'm gonna try and figure out who Stal actually is because I don't, we don't know him. No, you know, and, and I'd I'd like to be like, you know, so what what's your what's your deal in all of this? Okay. I'm gonna read him. I think he's gonna chat. Um. Your position here is controlled, obviously. There's no no danger, really. Um, your effect... Limited. And okay. I think... I can't think of a specific Devil's Bargain. Um, for this. Um... Yeah, it's 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 just something I'm gonna roll. If it's yep. if there's not a lot of consequence here, I'm just gonna roll it. Yep, it's a con it's controlled. <clears throat> yep. Is it? Oh, bonus dice go away. Five. Okay. Um. So, Stal is someone I think as you're talking with them and he's talking about um, like you. I think you managed to get him talking a bit about his history with the, the scovs. Um. He's very friendly, but that feels like a like an act. Like he's trying to be more friendly to you, uh, maybe to everyone than he really seems. Um, there's there's definitely more to him, okay. uh, but it's hard. It, it, I think right now it's hard to tell in the short conversation that you have. But um, I think. There's two things. One's a consequence, one's just a thing that he'll say. Um, I think that I'm just going to tick up. I think I'm going to tick up the Spirit Warden's attack as part of this. Um, uh, is that just, just a consequence, or is that connected to stall? I think that's just a consequence um, okay. in the background. So he, he's not affiliated yeah. with the warden no he's not um but he mentions like uh he says like okay he seems interested in you and like the scientists and the work and not the work from a scientific standpoint not from like an a, like eyebrow raising way but more in like a what was it like to do this thing and then have it go so wrong and he, he's trying to be sensitive but still curious um, he asks you, sort of, as you get to the trap door, the guard steps aside, he says, listen, I have some things I'd like to run over with you if you want questions, ideas, if you want to meet for tea or something. Yeah, all these amenable for friends. Friends. Good. Um, okay. He will try to, like, schedule, like, a... a date and time at his place, basically, to have your tea. Sure. Kind of neutral yeah. second location. Now, now is, does that, just as a, a setting question, does that seem like more of a noble activity, or or is it just like a normal thing? 
Um, I think it's a somewhat normal thing. Um, Scott, there's, I think there's a bit of, uh, especially in Duskwall, where oftentimes the only allies and friends they have are other Scovs. There's sort of a sub, a culture of hospitality and sort of familial um, bond and like brotherhood more than just blood. Um, and it seems like he's extending that to you. You've had that extended to you before, but obviously that was in doubt now. Um, yeah. yeah. So this is seen as an olive branch. Yes. Okay. Um, but yeah, you get to the trap door and uh, you climb down. And we'll get back to the scene, I think, with the captives. Yeah. Back on the main floor. Bloodsport. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> we see... Uh, Costa rolls her shoulders, says, Adric Karstis, I've heard a lot about you. And most of the crowd can't hear this. This is like, there's like the background yelling of, of a crowd. Um, One thing I can't remember are... is, did I meet her before in the basement? Because I... In the basement? Yeah, uh, Mercy's, when I first went to Mercy's place, I know I was introduced to quite a number of people, but I don't remember if you, she was. She was not you there. Met uh, Steiner. You met Steiner, who uh, was the sniper. Um, fair enough. Costa, so no she... you might have seen her, maybe, up to, I don't remember, when she lassoed Grind when you guys were defending your turf. Yeah, you would have seen her then. You were in the street with me. Mm, truth. Yeah. So I think, she, yeah, she says, I've heard a lot about you. I haven't had the chance of seeing you in action. How is that little uh, neighborhood in Crow's Foot? Doing well? You aren't even a scov. Why are you here? Or wait, She's you, a she scoff. is. She's Never a mind, scoff. I fail. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> you are a true scov. Yeah, you betrayed us. It would be weird if she wasn't a scov. <laughs> yeah, it would be. Okay. Never mind, that was the whole reason I suggested her. Dot, dot, dot. <laughs> uh, okay. Adric's having nothing. He's has no interest in talking before a fight. He's just standing there and waiting. Yeah, for, she know, looks kind of amused. You're not doing like, any preparatory work here. Listen. No. And she says this like in normal speech, but most of the the crowd can't hear it. Um, she says, "Listen, I'll throw the fight if you give up the phoenix. If you if I give you her the phoenix, I'll throw it." Do I don't it. need you to throw the fight. Do it. <laughs> he just smiles. Do it. Okay, this should be fun. Now you're probably getting, like, there's hints of mercy there as well. Good. So she walks back, rolls her shoulders again, and, and I think now, they, like, I don't, I don't think there's, like, a specific start point. It's just... Just start rushing each other and punching. Probably, it's, it's, there's, there's no like it's, bell. There's no anything. It's not like the circle thing where you're just like, who's gonna start? Because that's what it starts. It's when the first punch gets thrown. That's like when the fight starts. That's true. It's usually yeah, like a little bit of a game of chicken for for who wants to hit first. Because they know whoever hits first, like, is gonna get hit, but they'll like clap back real fast. Yeah. If there is any sort of circling or anything, like the second that it's kind of made clear like it would be a cheap shot it's it's officially on now that first second like adric is going to be uh, headed forwards there he has usually fought with um just trying to speed and do this quickly so he's first going in just like direct let's deal with right you like a normal throat. person kind of thing he's going for a jab directly at her throat and following up with the other arm punching at her side and hoping to take her down like, right away okay um so let's roll this. This is this is like a fist fight. It's it's desperate within the um No, I think it's risky. This is there's no weapons involved, so I think it's risky. Um okay. level three harm from versus fist fight is not easy to have. Um even with, with you know, super soldiers. Um I think your effect here will be standard. Okay. Um Devil's Bargain if you're willing to take level one harm and kind of, like, just push past her first jab at you and just, like, ignore it and go aggressive, then that'd give you an extra die. I would like to do both do that and switch it to desperate great effect, because that is what I was attempting to 
to describe there. Like, I want to take her out before she can do anything. I want this to be incredibly decipher. Say, look, they're innocent. Let's get those over with. Move on. Okay. Um, so this is just, you're completely ignoring all of her, it's her blows. You're just going, this is you're going two berserkers, basically. Yeah. I was about yeah. to say the same thing. <laughs> one punch man. <laughs> Go in. Ow, what is the level one harm that I'm taking? Um, this will be, I think, she's probably going to punch you in the face, so this will be Black Eye. Okay. Nice. Bell ringer. <laughs> Lovely. All right. Let's see how well this goes. Oh, boy. You got a four. Four. Okay, so... What happens if you roll bad? What happens if don't fail? <laughs> I used up my command roll and... <laughs> Yeah, not a I, I understand it's technically not a fail, but almost a fail, still not still enough. <laughs> but, I mean, that fills up the clock, doesn't it? Yeah, it should. Well, there's a separate clock it's for a... feeding someone to a pulp. There that's would be a, a separate clock. That's a separate thing. Uh, this is not the crowd, oh. this is face smash clock. This oh, is fighting. Is I did not know that. <laughs> this is fighting okay. someone. Because uh, this doesn't is... affect the crowd. The outcome of the fight will fill the, the clock. The outcome of the fight will fill the clock completely. Um, okay. If you win, you convince the crowd, but each punch does not move it forward. Yes. So you just need to do that two more times. You're good. <laughs> yes. No, Costa, I think that this is... It doesn't feel quite like you're trying to punch a hull, but it, it feels almost like this is the much heavier resistance she, she seems faster um you are still able to get some hits in but she's able to get them equally uh as, as hard on you i think that you oh you're pushing it to desperate so i think yeah you, you're gonna take level is it level three harm no you're gonna take level two harm and the i think the effect of yours will be pushed down from great to standard um you're not gonna get great splitting effect. it up. It's it's yeah, reduced effect. Um, yeah, she's a bit hardy, and she pu she punches back hard. So you take level two harm. Uh, I think this will be cracked ribs. Like she she hits she punches harder than anyone you've had to fight in your life. Uh, I'm assuming no one else you haven't had to fight anyone else who was you know experimenting no. on. Well, yeah. Built like a rhino. Yeah. And At she's like, she's pretty, was, she's so. a soldier, so she's pretty, probably, I don't think she's that lithe, but she is punching harder than you imagine Ulf would. Fair enough. Um, um, and she like, I help? Well, you want to help in a one-on-one -on -one fight? Let's, you are you doing a separate role? Well, yeah, you, you totally can, because yeah. you were distracted. I want to do a, se I want to do a separate role. Okay, so she like backs up the first like round of punches, she backs up, she like, spits some blood on the ground and says, not bad, not bad. Smiling with the adrenaline, kind of hopping up and down. And then does she catch it? She just, she noticed the phoenix. I, I'm probably, like, where she, like, how close to the edge of the square is she? It's not large, so I think she's pretty close to it. Okay. Probably she's not in, like, push, push them back together. I'm yeah, sure. but... They're probably doing the boxer thing where you keep moving. <laughs> Oh, and the crowd yeah. kind of moves with you? The, the oh, no, 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 just like you move within the square. You don't, like, stay in one spot to get rushed yeah. again after you break yeah. up from a little tussle. Yes, that's true. Um, she will just see the bird fly over her and land somewhere behind her, and she'll hear, I heard you were looking for me. <laughs> just... <laughs> <laughs> okay. Perfect. Um, Rattling her to win the fight. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, this is totally a setup. Um, I wouldn't I am... even call this a setup. I would call this a separate role, because if it works, I will just automatically take yeah. advantage of yeah, it. Yeah, I think if this works, you'll rattle her enough where it's more likely she'll just... She'll, I think this is could just directly contribute to the clock. Yeah. Now, here's what I'm going to ask to roll and give you my logic for it. I want to roll Prowl, because I don't want her to immediately see me. I want her to know I'm back in the crowd somewhere. I want to distract her enough to keep looking to try and see me, which gives an opening for Adric. You can. Yeah, you I think that'll be less effect. I think that the, what you're doing is probably wrecking in the distraction oh, way. No. 
Yeah, for the most effect, at least. You can still prowl, and I think that makes sense, but it wouldn't be... This, is, it, this is carefully dis applied sabotage to breach mental defense. This yeah. Right. Wreck. <laughs> There's a, the difference here is one of them is take two dice, roll, take the lowest, and the other one is three yes. dice. So, <laughs> so you can use prowl. It'll just be limited effect. Is the other option in a middle ground for employ subtle misdirection? I didn't hear what the beginning of what you said, Sen. Is finesse a middle ground for that because it's employing subtle misdirection? Ooh. Yeah, I could see that too. The other option um, is you have the bird land on Hicks's head and Hicks goes around <laughs> doing grapple voice. <laughs> <laughs> it's just uh, the end of the three amigos where no, everybody no, comes not, out in the Phoenix no, outfit. <laughs> We're not moving. We're not moving. Hicks is at one end of the crowd. You're at the other, and we bounce. You just well, Phoenix whack a mole what, in the crowd. What's the <laughs> what's the position I would be in? Risky. Cool. I'm gonna just take the prowl. The riot crowd. I'm gonna take the prowl and push it to desperate. I, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's like, yeah. That's four dice plus standard effect. Desperate. Standard. Uh, Devil's bargain. She recognizes your voice, and everyone knows who the phoenix is. Ticks over. No, I'm I'm keeping that card in the back pocket for cool. later. Um, Devil's this bargain. You get knocked out by someone in the crowd. Like you, you just get. I bump into the, the wrong person. You bump into the wrong person. You get taken out of this after. Uh, I'm, I think I'm good with four dice here. That's fair. Okay. Yeah. So was so was Adric with these four yeah. dice. <laughs> so was I with the four dice previous, where I, the best was. I got a six. Four. There we go. Okay. Okay, so you got the memo. yeah, um, Adric, she just like kind of like stops and and like looks behind her, like like she saw a ghost or something. She's like, and then you rush her, and and, and I think <laughs> she's just turned around and defend herself, but way too late. You still get a, the first few blows in before it's more even. Um, she backs off, um, gets out of your range for a second, and I think now she looks like she's like looking at you, her eyes like are glancing at you keeping you in her peripheral vision if you get too close, but she's no longer focused on the fight as much. She's scanning the crowd as she circles you. Uh, I what have you... two things that I want to do, but... Well, we can go visit Brian again and uh, come back to you if you want to think. I am going to try and find more ways to argue that a finesse should actually be Prowl, so... Sure, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> if you're ambushing her with close violence, you can do it. I really don't think that this is an ambush. I really, really it's don't think that rush <laughs> someone who's already in a fist foot fight with you. <sighs> okay, well, I can let's, up, let's see if I can give my arguments then before. Yeah. Um, no, I could set up an. I can set up a crowd roll for you. <laughs> because I am considering doing. Uh, I'm considering using the hawker's rigging and bringing out a dagger. Uh, without the crowd noticing, which is why it should be finesse. Without the crowd noticing would definitely be finesse. Can I argue for prowl there if I'm going off of the... Uh... Finesse is like pickpocketing or sleight of hand. This is sleight of hand. This is, this is a backstab. Uh, I know. A throat cut. This is absolutely yeah. finesse. I'm you can also do also like include climbing, swimming, jumping, and tumbling. So if you're acrobatic enough in that ring, it's absolutely, a and I'm I'm okay to do that. Sure, I yeah, will. You tumble oh. forward. <laughs> you, you tumble. I think the play would be you tumble and then you pull the knife out. You put it behind her. You push her down on top of it. So when you get up, it looks like you didn't like stab her in the front. Yeah. You're employing the Dark Souls uh, equivalent of combat. It's combat <laughs> rolling. Yeah, I combat roll still indoors, see so the down, it's a back step. the important part is not the tumbling. The important part is the drawing of the knife and getting rid of it out of your hand quickly. I think that's still finesse. Tumble, uh, Prowl would absolutely, though, be avoiding her blows until she tires out a bit. Things yeah. like that. Rope -a -dope. Um, I can set up your, your stabbing when it circles back around with a okay. distraction. Or a br you, you just need a second to pull the to pull the dagger out of your boot. Yeah, so long as the crowd is looking away. So I think, uh, do we keep going with this or head yeah, to grind? Yeah, we go to grind. We go to Let's, grind, yeah. and then I'll yeah. we'll hold out the So I think so we on. see, it's we see like there's a uh, a cellar here, um, with multiple uh, areas. There's um, 
on one side of this like bare room, there's not really any walls. There's lots of like crates, like probably several dozen crates it's in a large area that are stacked on top of each other in one corner of the room. Um, in another, there's like a table with like some papers and and some like like writing notes and some books. Uh, and then sort of in between both of them, um, all are, are several probably. Check actually what how close they were on their clock. Just to tell you how many there were. How you want to kill the scientist clock? I had to kidnap the scientist's clock. Uh, the kill one is I'm, much I'm shorter. I'm hoping it's full, one, honestly. <laughs> good for us now, because yeah. the more we have, the better our gang of science is. Cool. Um, it's only two out of six filled, so it isn't actually super oh. full. So I think there's probably like, yeah, two or three people here who are kind of... Um, Oh, I don't think they'd be tied up in ropes. They they won't be like chained to the wall or anything that bad. Yeah, the, it would be the the locked door is the thing keeping them in. I think that's what it is. Yeah. So maybe there's like there are um there's probably then one room. There's like the crates and the table, and then there's one locked door down here behind another wall. Um, and then uh, I think that Stal. Is just he's down there. Uh, there's two more guards on the like left and right of the door here, and uh, he says he explains to them the situation in short. He's like, "All right, the meeting has gone well. We're not putting Grind in." I think that the guards are like expecting that. They're like start looking at you like, "Ha!" It's, uh, Sal's like, "Nope, Grind's innocent. They're all innocent." The guards are like shocked, and he like tells them like the situation. And they uh, open the door. I'm going to lean to Stahl real quick and say, um, you may hear me say some things in there that uh, don't appear the best, but uh, I assure you, anything that goes on from here on out is for the good of the cause. Okay. He, s he says okay. He looks at you like, depends what you say. It's fair. Just, and, uh, just wanted to preface it, that's all. Yep. <laughs> I'll be outside. I'll uh, tell the guards to go upstairs. Learn about whatever. See everything for themselves. All right. So, yeah. Uh, Grind will walk in. Um, look around specifically to see if Stasi is here, because if not, that's a whole other problem. Yeah. I think, um, yeah, they... She is. Um, you see that several of them... I think... There's, like, some, some cots, a chair or two. It all looks like it's low quality even for Scovland. Like, I think that um, the chair looks like it's about to fall over and things like that. The, there's probably bugs in the cots. But uh, I think these people look up for a sec, expecting it to be a guard, and they're like, uh, but, of course, their expressions change. All of them recognize you, um, of course, because they've all worked with you before. And, um, yeah. yeah. I think that's in various ways. All of all three of them say like "grind." Uh, they like are about to say, "Oh no, they got you too!" But then they see you're like not being forced in here. Like, Sazia says, "What's going on?" Uh, grind will like hold up his hand and just say, "Start from income." Uh, we have worked uh, a bit of a deal. Uh, the people in charge here realized that we were only doing a job that uh, we did not know the ultimate goal of our project. And we may have come to an understanding, but that is dependent on all of you. What do you mean? Um, I think there's, like, one of the people is unnamed, one of them is Stasia, and one of them is the guy in the, who went to, in the newspaper, um, is, uh, Dr. Darian Trellis. Um, he was probably, given that he's now retired, one of the people in charge of the project. Um, he was probably leading this. Um, yeah. he's and there, he looks, I... it's only been a few years, but he looks, like, significantly older. Yeah, since I know these people from my past, which of the three of them isn't remorseful? <laughs> oh, I think him. I think Dr. Okay. Trellis is gonna... He's probably about to start like, you made a deal with these animals? Kind of things. Yeah, 
so I'll be directing most of this at him and uh, <clears throat> and I'll look at them and say uh, uh, the scientists we have uh, pushed the bounds of understanding uh, we, we exist to learn and better uh, uh, our existence on this uh, fairly doomed planet we live on. However, uh, our purpose has been bent to political ends. That's not something I ever stood for. Uh, not something I realized was a problem until this occurred. But we find ourselves in a situation where all of us are dancing on the knife's edge. If you will agree to follow me, to do what is correct, to atone for what we have done, we, we may be able to keep our heads and uh, make things a little better. Okay. To roll to convince them to join you. Uh, this is controlled. I think that this is probably... Consorts? Limited effect. That's what I'm... Connections from your background. Yes. Yeah, to gain access to resources, information, people, or places. To gain access yeah. to people. I think this is limited effect specifically because of Dr. Trellis. Is inclined to just say what needs to be said and then go right back to retirement and never it's like sleep yeah, no he's gonna make night. bombs for us does he not realize this yet <laughs> oh shoot i kicked over my trash can <laughs> <laughs> it was under my desk and i kicked it <laughs> fell over. um yeah i think this is limited i think uh control limited yeah um and i'll push it to risky standard why not okay and i think the way this looks is um he probably starts to speak up, the doctor. Um, he says, I think he says effectively something like, he has, like, I have nothing to do with what happened, and I don't have any regrets because of that. Whatever I make is going to be made anyways. Something like, along those lines. He, he, in his mind, is completely separate from this, and I think you have to kind of push him down mm. socially. Then I, I think in order to push it to Risky, I, I look him dead in the eye and say, with that attitude, you will not walk out of here. You're in a corner, caged like an animal. Saying that, you know, if you're not going to agree with me, Go for violence. I'll just bring in the guards. They can shoot you right here. <laughs> nice. So your choices. <laughs> your choices are work for me or die. <laughs> yep. Or stay here. You could you yeah. get two choices. Come with me yeah. or stay here. All right. So going. That's four. It's not best. But that. It's, oh. You know, it'll do. It's not a three. That's been this entire session has been like, most of the time that crit was really nice. But most of the time it's been like, oh good, it's a four. It's not every other number rolled. Oh god, this is, yeah, this is going poorly. You missed the briefing once again. Yeah. No failures. Okay. It's not a failure. It's just cool. sort of. I'm going to pocket the consequence for that right now. Seems um, about right. I'm that gonna, seems yeah. about right. But there I might be an additional gonna... flaw in our asset of a gang of adams. Let's see. Uh, but That's no, they, he, he agrees and he says, Fine. Fine. You're right. And you can see it's like killing him to say this. He doesn't believe it, but he says it. What we now, did was call... wrong. Yeah, he continues. I'll just, I'll just call Stahl in the room um, and say, uh, these people have agreed to uh, help. If uh, it, we have a place we could put them, I can show you. 
Uh, well, it's a secret place. <laughs> I don't know if Brian's, Brian's been there, but I don't know if we want to show the scientist. Show stall. Show stall, or stall. like. Or stall. Yeah, the scientists will definitely see it because it's their That's lab. where there'll be science. But, um, Take them on the boat for the moment. Yeah, uh, until it we is can do a it. clandestine location, so we will have to take precautions. But uh, we have a place that they can work to our own ends. I think I'd like to come with you. Our people ask us. We can't tell them hearsay. Some of us will need to see them working for ourselves. Uh, I'll come I with can... you when this is all sorted. Probably some I can others. talk to the rest of the Fuse Rights Union, and uh, this is not my decision alone. We make decisions together. But I am at least am amenable to bringing you along. Okay. Let's go upstairs and see if this whole thing was in vain. And on the way back up, I look at Stahl and say, uh, Trellis, you said his name was? Dr. Trellis, yeah. Dr. Darian Trellis. Trellis may be uh, the weak link here. Keep an eye on him. Noted. I will. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. Go. Yeah. Back in the fight, we, we cut over to a, a punch and cheering crowd. Yeah. What's the plan? I'm trying to figure out the best way to distract the crowd that doesn't involve tear gas. <laughs> 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 Well, because my original bit... plan was to dump another bottle of drift oil on on my pre-soaked piece of wood and start doing fight announcements, but that ruins my bookie plan. True, because they'll all see they'll me. They'll all again. see you and wreck and remember. So it's if if you... we can get one more tick on her, though, that is useful because as is, I can't get four ticks in one move, which is going to be I, hard. You and could I go right up here. to extreme effect if you get great and also like go past great. Possible to well, I finally this. hit level two harm, which means I'm less effective. So without the knife to capture that, I have an idea of a way to fill that clock more from my end. Okay. Also, remember you have rage essence to ignore harm. I have also considered pulling the rage essence instead of a knife. However, that can't stop until they're all broken <laughs> and can't tell them from foe. And in a crowd of angry people, this sounds like a bad idea. <laughs> Yeah. As much as I was tempted. Right. Um, Here's a que question. Is rage essence considered alchemical? It... Probably. Hmm. I don't know. Yeah. I'd say that. You, can, get you can stop rage essence with Alkahest then. Okay. Yeah, it means we gotta get in there and can you take down the super soldier? Because I can't. <laughs> I mean, I can taser. <laughs> yeah, it'll it'll be that could be for long enough. Mm. All right. That's all right. Last time. <laughs> My suggestion for how I'm going to distract pseudo PvP. Is, okay. Is to provide additional lighting for the fight by stepping off of my driftwood soaked board and leaving a bottle of fire oil so as it rises it ignites at providing a spotlight on the fight as dusk falls dark. <laughs> so there's a brief second of illumination where a floating piece of wood bursts into flame. I like it. I'm not sure how it is set up for beating Costa. Oh, it's a setup action for, for Adric. I mean... And basically what I've been doing since I've been noticing that she's distracted with Phoenix and knowing that she's more dangerous than she looks, I'm doing a lot of moving around so that yeah. she really needs it's... to focus me so that yeah. any little distraction there is going to be an opportunity to hit her i have one one slot left in my bandolier and it oh, already gosh. has drift oil on it so i'm trying to double down on that with spending another slot for fire oil and removing my weight so it floats and ignites you know providing light for the fight ostensibly but okay. the goal is to provide a distraction for adric to secretly knife her <laughs> that makes sense yeah, the, I have, I'm not affecting the beating Costa clock. I am just providing a, a distraction for Adric's prowl. It's fictional, a setup action. Fictional positioning yeah. for pulling a knife 
in a knife fight where you're not supposed to have a knife. Okay. Yeah, that's a good idea. So let's roll that first for the setup, and then, Adric, you can choose to use that now or later um, yeah. mm-hmm. if you're not pulling a knife immediately. Would you would you want me to do my thing next, Marissa? Because that might fill in some of the clock. If I had a distraction, the next thing I was going to do was actively push her into the crowd. As if she is in the crowd, there's less of a knowledge that I was the one who knifed her. So uh, that might be more useful for you. If you, like, pull her okay. into the crowd but when she's pushed. I intend to tackle her, but let's do Hicks's first. Yeah, I'm going to provide my setup distraction with I'm going to assume this is Rick, as I am actively trying to create a distraction. Okay. Yeah, you are. I will um, wreck. You're controlled here. You're completely uninvolved in anything else going on. The crowd okay. isn't going to riot until the outcome of this fight is decided. I'm assuming the effect is standard? Yes. Well, the effect is set up, so, yeah. Yeah, whatever. I got, I got a bonus die, because I'm taking a distraction. Yes. Um, I roll five. That's a five! All right. So the setup is done, I think. Um, we'll do, I, do I light a little bit on fire? Do I? No. <laughs> I, I, do, I do use fire Actually, oil, and they have a built-in downside. I don't have my book, like, physically. Oh, yeah, okay. It's on, oh, there's a handout. Yeah. It's in the handouts. Yeah, just if just for looking for an easy alchemical controlled consequence, there is pre-set up ones for you're right uh fire isn't in here sample questions oh yeah uh erupts in searing okay yeah so, so level one harm um singed like like burnt hands basically yeah burnt hands is fine i said hand no, singular pre- for level one harm burnt hand yeah previously i had bruised bones but Grimes first aid had made it so I was ignoring the less effect. Yep. Now I have a burnt hand. I am no longer ignoring the reduced effect. Correct. Okay. Um but yeah, the setup is done. So it's up there. People are are some people are cheering at it and looking at it. Yeah, distracted by the floating piece of fire. Exactly. I don't know how long it's gonna stay up there. We will find out. If it's it's a it's a big enough piece of wood to like Kind yeah, of but it's, until, it's the drift oil that I'm concerned about, not the piece of wood. True. When the drift oil evaporates from up. the fire, the flaming piece the of ground. wood will fall. Into the middle of the ring. <laughs> Hopefully in the middle of the ring, not on a person. Yeah, we'll find out. Yeah, probably yeah. on a very old, dry building. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And at minus one with the brigade. Phoenix, what are you doing? <laughs> well, one of our crew reputations is... Exp- Fire is explosives. <laughs> yeah. Fires is really slow explosions. Yeah, it's a really bad explosion. Phoenix, what are you up to? Um, I'm waiting for Adric oh, you are to do the push. Okay. Yeah. In which case, yeah, when there's a distraction, Adric is assuming that she's looking away for a moment. He's basically going to uh, run at her side full tilt and try and dive at her to kind of push her back into the crowd. And then use the hawker's rigging to pull a knife. And, uh, Nice. Stafford. Okay. I, th- I will spend a stress to help you. Okay. okay. How are you helping? Okay. Um, this is what I was going to try and roll for, but if you're going to tackle and stab, I'm going to be right there to grab her, right? Like hold her, and he's going to whisper in her ear, I'll see your friend's aid soon. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Okay. I would probably do that still as a separate role, though. Mm. I think the plus one die is going to be the best you're going to... Like, the plus okay. one die for You could do both, frankly. You could, like, you could do the plus one die and then follow up with that with another action afterwards, if she's still up. Yeah, yeah. if okay, she's still up, I just might shank her. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Um, so... Tackling her and stabbing her while no one's looking. It is in the crowd. Mm. Everyone's this pretty is an ambush surprised. Thing with close That's what I'm trying for. Because Especially of the running the and tackling, running and jumping, <laughs> and tumbling. Yes, you're tackling her head on. I think the closest thing actually here might be s- skirmish. Honestly, I'll take a skirmish too, so long as the not seen is still in there. Not seen is part of what you're trying to do, um, yep. and I think because you're doing it in the middle of the crowd, not in the middle of a space in the crowd, it's a lot that helps. Okay. 
it's still, I mean, obviously if things don't go well, there's still a possibility you might be seen. Mm -hmm. See, do I want to use that? No, I think that's still better to use for armor. Wait, secret okay. armor? What armor? Uh, armor? I've got Battleborn, so I'm, oh, I can use special push armor. myself for special armor, and I'm also mm -hmm. wondering on what to be trifle with to try and... Uh, yeah, if you but... push, if you do not to be trifled with, you'll get an extra effect, basically. Um, okay. What are we at risky position effect now? This seems. This is still desperate. You're like so. Yeah, for some reason. <laughs> that sounds like a desperate move. <laughs> it really is, and your effect here, not including the harm or anything, just like base effect before positives or negatives. I think pulling the knife standard. There's the knife will help, but that's you you're using that and that'll increase your effect. I, um, okay. I so we're at standard right now. So it's going to go down one for the harm, up one for the fine knives. So we're back at standard. Back at standard. And um, then if you want to use the setup, that's you can also use that for plus effect. Ah. Uh, okay. Does Costa have an effect similar to not to be trifled with? Because Edric is a small gang. I thought was is it is it or push yourself to act like it? Um, it you can is... push yourself. Uh, perform a feat of physical force that verges on superhuman. Engage a small gang on equal footing in close combat. Okay. Push yourself to do oh. one of the following. So I think it is. Oh, push okay. Yourself. Yeah. Okay. I'd say the closest right. thing to the supernatural thing would be not to be trifled with in terms of like that's the closest to super soldier there is. So right now, I'll definitely use that distraction to up the effect to great. Uh -huh. got three dice, three for great. You got one die for me, because I'm helping. Okay. Um, and... I could then also do the push myself to put it to extreme and just fill that clock. How much stress do you have left? I have D2 I need for that push myself. Before well, you... If, you, if okay. you hit it with the great, you'll fill it. Uh, great is three ticks. Right, there's, it's... Oh, there's four. Yeah, yeah because the I first can, one is reduced. I can reduced. probably fill the rest of it if you want. Yeah, I anyway. can either do that or I'll try it with a command and see if I can get her stand yeah, down. So I'll keep it great. Don't, don't push yourself and, and trauma out. And, like, right yeah. Now. Okay. We've got other stuff to trauma out on next score. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So, desperate. Great. Mark your XP. Guy. Oh, yeah. And let's see what the roll gives. Oh, there's a four! There's a four! There's a four. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. oh, boy! Fuck <laughs> <laughs> this session, man. <laughs> <sighs> okay. So I think you do it. But... I think the people close to you see that, like, you, you tackle her... Uh, you're there. People look up, and there's a knife, and like, like, there's a knife in like Costa's like stomach, basically. And the crowd. Oh around... no, definitely not stomach. I okay. was going behind. Back. Okay, there's a knife in her back. But yeah. Um, and the closest members of the crowd are now like see this and immediately think it was Adric, and are like not the whole crowd, but like the people nearby are like, oh no, they're just gonna start. Up, they're gonna start. Up, like, crowd. You can resist that. <laughs> Oh, you, if I can resist that, absolutely. You can resist that, it. but I'm not done. Okay. Oh. Uh, no, we're desperate. It's just not just they see you doing the bad thing. Also, as you are tackling her and as you're doing this, she is like beating you on uh, uh, your back and like trying to. She's trying to resist you physically by punching you. Uh, yes. Zen. The intent of the role for, was it for not to be seen. She got a four. That's a success. You're correct. Thank you. So harm you. reduced effect both make sense though. Yeah. Yes. Um so two ticks away from being filled. Yeah. And then assuming harm. reduced effect is part of that. Yeah. I think it's I think losing a tick on the crowd finds the scientist innocent because whether or not Adric was seen, it draws into question the fight. So yeah. reducing the tick on the crowd finds the scientist innocent. It just represents they're less swayed by the fight because it's questionable. I am tempted actually to probably do level two harm to Adric and 
uh, do minus one tick on the clock. Yeah. They're like, oh, we, we couldn't see everything that happened. Um, yeah. That seems fair to me. Yeah. Like, that, makes, yeah. that makes logical sense. Well, but... I don't love yeah. it, but it seems fair. Level two harm. So, so she like... What were you asking, Jordan? Isn't beating Costa going to fill the crowd finds a sign? Now innocent? it'll fill it all but it'll one. It'll be one away. It'll be one okay. away. Now it will be like, they were. It's, the fight's going to end, and they'll be like, some of them will be like, what happened? Um, yeah. yeah they come um, with dissenting opinions. Yes. Okay. Then you can do swag. I... Yes. Um, uh, so so level two harm. I think... You already have cracked ribs. I think she um, sort of when you start charging her, she pivots into a stance, and and in the moment it's hard to tell exactly what she did. But when you get back up after t after tackling her, you realize that your sh like one of your shoulders has been dislocated. Oh, good. I'm pleased. Nice. With it. It sounds good. Thanks. Into a wall. As you tackle, she like pops. Yeah, shoulder she like back. elbows your shoulder as you're tackling her, as as you hit her, like right here with your shoulder. You know, I want to learn that trick. <laughs> Perfect. Um, Phoenix, what do you do? Yeah. Um, yeah, I think I'm still going to do, like, I'll be talking to Zayd in a few days. <laughs> like, I'm going to try and, like, get her off her game that way to go, like, no, I got to go find Zayd right now. Like, stop the fight. Like, I yield. Okay, you're trying to just get her to yield before she's beaten uh, in yeah. order to deal with you and you oh, the threat <laughs> yes to deal with the phoenix and zaid separately i'll kill yeah. him i swear to god <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's like the red part of the robe like no no he's got a knife <laughs> yeah that's exactly what it is <laughs> okay um i think you are i think i'm swaying I could see commanding, but I think swaying is more like is better. Yeah, I'm yeah. bluffing. Yeah, and your effect here is standard. Um, she she cares enough about Zade where it's not. If it was like a random person, maybe limited, not none, but like limited. Yeah, but this is uh, this is her ex. Um, desperate because you're the phoenix, and she might just try to grab you and attack you here and now. Excellent. She might just so, like switch targets. Desperate standard. Which means I get an extra die. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, uh, big numbers. Big numbers. Any devil's bargains. Um, Don't make sense for everyone to know who the phoenix is because I'm literally threatening I know. myself. Yeah, no, that doesn't make sense. Um, I'm I down with think, chance and ghost shenanigans. I think plus one heat because now they're going to try and get a protective custody around Zade or something like that. Like they'll no, they'll be can't. like, I we know the heat. Phoenix's we target. Take more heat. <laughs> uh, that's so funny though. We're already wanted. You're going to hit our wanted level anyways Again? after this. Honestly, no, no, there's not. no, no way. Not. Hold on, it's current heat right now. We have four to burn before the next wanted level. Yeah, we're gonna get that from the score. Uh, yeah, we 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 are four away from the next wanted level right now. Is that That's... counting the plus two we just got? Yes. You don't need anyone else's input, Jordan. I I'm <laughs> doing the mental maths. Hold uh, on, I'm just I'm just the giving the fact. Bad. I'm not trying to convince anything. Just I am. We don't need to our favor. I figure we're going to mess it up and get to the wanted level anyway. You, Take get to go to jail, but you get to go to jail then. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I'm, here's what I'm going to... I'm going to say no, because I'm guessing this is going to be a four heat job anyway. If it okay. hits, is it like stress? And is it, it counts as the wanted level, or does it have to go over? Let's... I'm going to check. That's a very good question. Well, once we I, hit I, the last one, it rolls back. So once we hit that fourth oh. that we still have, we get the next wanted level, and it resets. Ooh, I might take it then, because if the four heat is going to do it anyway... I don't think we're going to get four heat. Well, it's either four or two. Our name is all over this. We might not have maybe done killing, but... But, like, every... That, that's why the crowd is here. There is no way this is staying quiet. No. I'm not saying it's a zero heat job. <laughs> it might be two heat. 
It's between yeah. two and four. I think two or three is reasonable. Well, it goes zero, two, four, yeah. right? And six. Well, zero, two, four, six, yeah. We can't get um, a three heat, Jeff. That seems weird. No. Whatever. <laughs> I could take the heat now and make it a three heat job, probably. <laughs> you know, I I'm gonna take it because we're either getting four heat or two heat. It's not either gonna be. It doesn't matter to you. Nope. Yeah. Oh, God. Oh. yeah. Oh, you're making this hard. Okay. <laughs> I'm taking the heat. Right, that's, that's marked. All right. Oh, I'm going to jail. It, I'm going to jail. Okay. Five. Cool. Um. Oh, I'm so going to jail. There's Costa. <laughs> I'm too weak and frail to survive jail. <laughs> yeah. Just don't beat me up in jail. <laughs> so you do it. She, like, I think... Um, I think what happens is the knife that Adric stabbed her, stabbed her with, she pulls out of her back, throws it at you, and then goes to chase after you, but you can't find you after that. Cool. And she hits what you with the knife, harm? taking level three harm. The knife goes Ooh. like, yeah, no, she, she uh, probably hits you in the, in, not the leg, because you need to keep running, but like, probably in the arm, but it goes like through your arm, coming up both ends. It's in the bone. Yeah, no, it's, it's like, sorry, my poor fine knife. It's like someone shot a knife gun, it would hit you At so least hard. You're like, gonna it's, get it it's back, in and to the hilt, <laughs> the knife. <laughs> I'm going to armor that because if I yeah. armor resist, it's I already have level one harm filled up, so it's going to be level two anyway. <laughs> That's fair. So you're just going to armor and then it'll be level two. I'm just going to armor it. The whole reason I haven't resisted. Uh, and then she Adric runs off looking for you and, and leaves the fight. Basically. Knife in my arm. Knife in my arm. <laughs> Thanks for collecting it. You're welcome. Yeah. Um, the crowd is, is she, she throws the knife at you. The crowd is like, whoa, like, what's going on? Where get back in the fight. Knife? Yeah, where'd she get the knife? Get back in the fight. She yeah, didn't yeah. use it on Adric, so does that count? And she's just like, oh, I, 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 I give. I don't care. And it's like, just doesn't even look at Adric anymore. All right. So I have a can that, I was going to say, can that fill the beating Costa clock and then fill one more in for the crowd clock? Because she threw the knife at me. She you had You are knife. right. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's that's what the pushing it up did is All basically right. because um, of that it seems like she's the one who cheated, and so once yeah ever the, the yeah I have a final play in hopes to reduce some of the heat from this. Okay. <laughs> I have a final play. So because I crit on my gambling ring roll. Yes. My play is partial refunds to anyone who bet on Costa. And not total. Partial refunds to anyone that bet on Costa because the conclusion of the fight was tainted by her cowardly actions. You're giving up basically a future coin. The extra. Well, the extra coin I got from the crit, or whatever the bonus would be from okay. from critting for the, the bookie roll, because I did, pretty sure I did crit. Crit right. coin to reduce heat. Was it a crit or a success? No, it was a it was a success. It was a success. I think it was just a success. It was a regular six, yes. A um, regular success. Yeah. Oh, I think it was maybe from the great effect as oh, well. Yeah, it was from about. great. It was a controlled great, is what it was, what I mean by extra. Like the bonus from great. So basically pumping that back down to with the bookie was just the bookie rule was just like a standard effect. Yeah. Give up some of my give up some of the fictional cash I gained from that. Yeah. To do to partial cash. Re for the, partial re yeah, for the partial refunds that I would be handing out, because the it, fight was inconclusive. Yep. Like, it was questionable circumstances because of her cowardly actions, and I'd appreciate <laughs> if they accepted this as an apology for an unfair match or whatever. Just so it also, in it hopes to reduce some of the heat this has garnered. <laughs> sure, so no yeah. one's, like, walking around mad like I got ripped off by the Fuse Rights Union or whatever. Okay. I think let's let's see that they think the, the crowd is is pretty unhappy with the result. They will right right now abide by it, um, but they like wish they chose someone better. I'm trying to temper some of that. I I get that. Yeah. Um, if we do a little bit of swaying or you know arguing, can we still 
try and funnel them more toward the spirit wardens because right now they aren't. I think there. we're about done. I think we're about done. If you want to keep pushing we're... it, then there's that risk yeah, of them like done. being like, you know what? Yeah, we're done. Screw the fight. We're, we're we still think they're good. Fair enough. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Here. We got at least one level three harm, a multiple level twos. <laughs> yeah. All okay. Right. So let's just end with this. Resources I think this will be a, this will be a sway. Uh, yeah. This will be your apology. Yeah. I think this is controlled. Um, I think this is standard. We'll sacrifice your great effect. Devil's bargain, if you want to sacrifice, un like, uh, I will just reduce a coin from your future payoff. Further, if you want to pay even more, uh, you'll get an extra die. I don't think a coin for a die is worth it here. No. Yeah, I think. But it, that's the best option. You give everyone some free bombs. Yeah, no. <laughs> no, I can't. I don't think All there's the any other devil's bargains. Yeah, but they won't accept. They won't accept All bags the money of bullets. The they won't accept. I can't take out of supply and just hand them bags of bullets. <laughs> no. What if instead for out of supply, it's like a buy one get one free coupon? Um, <laughs> I would accept a devil's bargain for level one harm. Uh, oh, no, horse that's level two harm. throat. <laughs> that's level two harm. Okay, then nope. Uh, we it. lost someone. Oh, you're back. Okay. Roll 20. Oh. Yeah. Oh, All okay. Right. I'm rolling. That's a five. That, that's a five. Cool. Um, so I think they, like, you, you do it. They accept. They're like, all right, yeah, we'll get, get to back. Our they, they're, they're, they take it back. They're grumbling about everything. Um, a hit to our rep because that seems like a thing that's a hit to a rep or one guy just punches you like i mean you, you just declined the harm you just declined the harm anyway so i'm not going to give it to you anyways you declined it for a devil's bargain um because i have two level one harms already yeah join the club i've had yeah. two level one harms for like four sessions you guys have magic tough guy powers though i don't <laughs> true Ooh, i think that I'm going to tick then. Hmm. You know what? Normally I wouldn't do rep if you're good with it because it's not an, abno it's an abnormal one. I think it, it does make sense. I, I think rep makes sense, but that's just me. Because this no. is straight up like a refund. Like that just looks bad. Think of like any time a company has to issue a refund. Yeah, exactly. Like it hurts their reputation a bit. Like that's, it makes sense okay. to me, but I understand it's a big cost, but I don't know. I figured once it's a bigger cost. Well, we're about so. to get some rep anyway, so yeah. yeah so yeah. Okay, so you guys was one, rep? just one, just one rep. Okay, that's yeah, much. Yeah. Okay, and that I think is the end of the score. Messy, messy <laughs> score. Yeah. I, yeah, I mean, it could have been way more. About I got, I still got three stress. I got no harm, and yeah. I came in in chains. I don't. <laughs> that's, why, that's what we're about is that i have bruised bones and a burned hand and you just like have to talk with some protective custody grind was in protective yeah. custody the entire time Zed, did you like gain any stress oh yeah like i started with two uh, oh okay so you got one it's i don't know how i'm possibly ever going to heal I up clear before. stress <laughs> With one downtime well, action, your level ones will go down if you can manage to heal. Yes. So it depends on how much coin we get. Yes. Yeah. So it's going to be one downtime action to at least one, at least two downtime actions to heal because the max I can get is three on a roll. Yeah, yeah, I'm hoping that our. Yeah. So let's do payoff, and then we'll go. We'll we'll keep going until it's we're, we'll do break soon, but not yet. Yeah. Payoff. We'll think okay. payoff after the mission. You guys earn four rep total. Okay. Marking that. And four coin. Four coin. Yeah, also, since it was technically a socialized job. job. It was technically a socialized job. job. We get two more coin. It was, yeah. Yep. Okay, um, someone mark a coin because our vault is full. That would be I'll... Yeah, okay, you no, I agree with that. Because I'm coin. the one that got the other coin. I'm just going to put coin. that on my sheet. <laughs> yep. Next is heat. Um, add plus one heat for a high profile or well connected target. Now, target here basically is the Scotland refugees, and they are not high profile or well connected. That's kind of their thing. Yeah. Um, 
Plus one heat if the situation happened on hostile turf. Luckily, no. you guys stopped it from being hostile. Um, plus two heat if killing was involved. No, plus one heat for war in general. Yeah, yeah yes. we are. So We're at plus one heat for uh, being at war. Yes. That's March. Two now, in terms of exposure, this one's funky because everyone here knew it was you guys. But they're not that cooperative with the blue coats. That all of that said, I think this is still four heat. Yeah, we were so gonna it was, hit it anyway. Like, it was four plus one, so five. Four plus one. Okay, so we're at one at level two with two heat rolling over. So what what did I garter by giving up some money? Um Actually if that's the case, yeah, should yeah. we then just roll it back to standard minus two exposure? heat. Yeah, minus two heat. Minus two heat? Okay, so we're yep. at one at level two, no heat. Yep. So the entanglement's a bit better. Um, <laughs> yeah. Now here's my idea. We pay my friend that's a spy to go into jail as the Phoenix. Yeah, I don't that'll just still be a reduced heat thing. No, that's not gonna that's not gonna fly anymore. How do we come They've down learned. one of levels? Uh send we a player character to jail. Is that yeah. the only way? Yes. I will that's double check. I will check if there's a, if it can be done over a long term project, but I'm not sure if that's the case either. I, could we pull a score for that? I will check. Like that. Direct, directly. And the answer is probably. A blue coat's warehouse break in to resupply and destroy. During the files. break, I will let you know. <laughs> <laughs> resupply and burn our fucking documents. Is well, that I mean, we're really good. Building. We're really good at that. Let's it's let's burn the whole building. It's not <laughs> going to be burned our just our. Everyone knows the be... best way to not get heat is to explode a building. Yes. Yeah. As long as no one knows it's your any building, so the right building, <laughs> and with no one knowing it's you. Okay, let's do entanglements quickly, and then let's go to a break. I think. Um, uh, should uh, I after I I stop? No, I thought it was my turn. <laughs> Are you... <laughs> well, you weren't super. Oh, wait, no, Brian rolled for engagement. So, yeah, yeah. I gotta do it, I guess. All two right. dice. Two, uh, two dice. I'm rolling for the next job. Two d6. That's what's happening. Yep. Is it two d6? Yeah, because you're one levels now, too. Yeah, yeah, we're one to level two now. Fuck. Four. four. Okay. Rivals are okay. unquiet there. On heat zero, yeah. Exactly. Well, you know what we had said about unquiet dead and a certain. Certain, uh, oof. Yeah. That might be the case. Um, rivals, well, a neutral faction throws well, a weight around, they threaten you, a friend, or contact one of your vice provisions. Don't we get to Ooh. pick this one? We'll yes, you do. Yes. Um, can you hit show to, I can never find that damn handout for yes. some reason. It's under the score, yeah. I think. Switch yeah, it's it. down a ways. After it's... the mission. Yeah. Uh, let's see here. A neutral faction. <laughs> so, I will let you guys pick, but, uh, I know what both will be. Mm. Other things we gotta think about. Where are we moving our new headquarters to? Because that's what the gang is gonna be doing. They're gonna be it's moving chanting. the couches their downtime. So we have to figure out where our new base is going to be. Because mm -hmm. that clock is one tick away, so our goons yeah. are just moving our furniture at this point. Yeah. yeah. We could figure that out over the break. That's um, what I mean. I, okay. I, think about that. I think I'm fine with doing rivals, because Ulf's already coming, and then we could just pay them off with rep. Yeah, if we did Unquiet Dead, I will just say Ulf will come in, in a stronger way than he would. Yeah, and actually I'd say coin because we're not ready to tear up yet and we're maxed in the crew coin. I mean I but we could all use need coin, that so. coin for our downtime we, actions right I think we now. Need the Where coin is, for um, forget ripping I mean, up. Just ignore it to part of the score. I think we I might rep, need to rep for downtime too, so it's it's yeah. either or. Either or it doesn't matter. One of the two. I think we we do coin because it's a little bit easier to like because I wanna we should avoid spending rep if we have to, but if we have to we have to kind of yeah. thing. All right, yeah, of course, so we'll... push the rep to the end. We'll drop a crew coin to our rivals, threaten mm -hmm. probably just straight up you, Grind. <laughs> As, like, 
just leftover angry people. You know, because no, the... that's that's uh, that's a GM to determine. I will determine the faction. faction. Yeah, I don't think I don't they're gonna like it. Good. I don't think it's low rep. It's low. I don't think it's low tier. Well, it does say a neutral faction, so it can't oh, I know. be someone we're at minus it's with. It's not someone you're at a minus with. It's yeah, still it's not great. Glenn per tier, or we could. We could also a... just. Honestly, we might just dropping a status might be the answer. Yeah, because fuck them right now. Yeah, who is it? Yeah. Is it the brigade? I'll describe it when we're back. <laughs> oh no. Okay, and then we'll make the decision then whether it's yeah. worth yeah. dropping coin or. And yeah, cool. it says coin or rep. Can we split between the two or not? Um, it's, it's, it I says one it's rep good. and one coin per tier or. of the faction. It's I thought it was or. or. Uh, yeah, oh, I was reading reprisals. Or. My mistake. Yeah, rivals is or. Okay. Um, yeah, I'd say you choose per. Like, it can be two rep and... Like, if it's a four tier, you can do two rep and two coin. If it's a three tier, you can do one and two and... Okay. Yeah, I'd say you can. Okay. We'll we will be back yeah. All right. in a few minutes. <laughs>